answers, those ones we've been sitting on shortening all day. I want us to focus on the nerve part of this, the femoral nerve rather than the muscle component. So you'll need a bench, pillow just to protect the knee. I'm stretching my right hip flexor. My left leg just goes in front slightly here. Now the thing with this that most people forget, it's not about big motion in the upper body backwards. It's not about lunging forward so much. If you can get this pelvis and you can tuck it like so, most of you will feel a little stretch just in this area here, in the groin area. If you feel it on the outside, down the thigh, I want you to take your foot in that way. So you turn the whole femur in. So if you look at my side, my leg going in like that, you'll open up that joint um, and get more of a stretch around in the groin, which is what we're after. Only a three out of 10, it's quite intense this. So once you set foot, tuck that pelvis up like that. What we're looking to do is literally just take belly button to spine. I'm just trying to lengthen my lumbar spine around that area there. And then relax, lengthen my lumbar spine. Relax, lengthen my lumbar spine. That's enough to really get a nice deep stretch in that area there. Then, if we look at this from the side, from the front, once we've got that tension, the lumbar spine getting longer, then you can play with the rib cage on the same side, getting taller, coming back, getting taller, coming back, getting taller. Then the rib cage rotating, but leaving the pelvis there. So you don't want any pelvis movement, you just want the ribs north, pelvis tucked, lumbar spine long, and rotate, and rotate back way. Now as you get better and better, this leg comes a bit further forward. We're still getting our, our tuck there, belly button to spine, ribs up, and rotate. Super powerful, guys. It takes two seconds. You can stand up. You can do it in that chair that you're sitting in right now as you watch this. Come on, D. Pro-hab yourself. Pro-hab yourself. Mm -hmm.